All right, welcome in everyone. Uh, this is Alan, otherwise known as Captain A. Kirk. As you can see right there, that is my user for Microsoft Flight Simulator. Um, if you want to send me a friend request, that'd be great. You know, I can add you on there. Um, if you want to subscribe to the channel and like the video, that'd be cool too. Appreciate that. All right, so again, this is going to be a a uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator SDK video. My goal in this video is to quickly create a building on an airport. So this is doing this is really easy for those of you that are wanting to know how to do this. It's definitely not as complicated as it may seem on the surface. Um, of course, the first thing you have to do is um, enable the developer mode which can be done through the options tab and then of course you get the bar here at the top that shows you the developer mode with the different options that you can choose there's plenty of videos on how to do that so we're not going to go in depth on how all of these different tabs work exactly uh, mainly we're just going to make a a uh, SDK from an, uh, an existing airport, we're going to add a building and uh, keep it real simple. So, without further ado, uh, let's go ahead and just find an airport. It could be any one. Um, typically, easier to find things when it's daylight, so we will do that. And we'll close that, and usually one of these island airports are a bit easier because there's usually nothing there. So um, I'll go ahead and pick, I could do that one or I could maybe do this one. This is uh, new bite, new bite is what we use. So what I do is like to start kind of in the air automatically and we'll go ahead and click fly. All right, and of course it's dark, so we can actually change the time within the SDK. There we go, we'll make it daytime, and we're gonna to wanna to put the simulation on pause. So we're gonna do that, and then click ready to fly. That puts me automatically in the air, somewhere over the airport. Uh, first thing I'm gonna do is put myself in developer camera. And I do have a, uh, kind of a, um, uh, like a gaming controller which kind of makes it easier to maneuver around rather than trying to use the keyboard um, again there's some videos out there explaining the keyboard functions we're not going to go into that I just have like a, a uh, like say a gaming controller to use on like an Xbox or PlayStation or something plugged into my computer just makes navigating around a bit easier when you're outside of the airplane to do the uh, to do the scenery type stuff all right so we're gonna put a building here and this is again down and dirty really quick so first thing we're gonna do is we're going to go to new project I've already set up a folder in my uh, documents so I just named mine my FS projects, but you can name that anything you want. It doesn't have to be anything specific. So my folder in this case is just my FS projects. Uh, so I'm going to name the folder for this project. We're going to name it new byte, B-I-G-H-T. I think that's how you spelled it, but it's good enough. Create that. So that's automatically created a folder for me. And then we're going to go to custom here, display title, going to be new byte, package name, all together, keep it simple, new byte. And we're going to make it a scenery, and then click next. So the asset group is going to be new byte. 
all together. It's a BGL and create, um, click create. Okay, so <clears throat> just real quick here, this is our project and then within our project under new byte, we're gonna have a BGL, which is the new byte BGL. Uh, if you wanna see what that looks like in the actual folder setup, it looks like this. So there's the new, the my FS projects and there's the new byte folder that you're going to have these that automatically got created for me there's the project which is an xml file and then you have your package sources and then these other ones here so the uh, only other folder i'm going to create in here that i'm going to actually create myself is one that's called scene and we'll use that in just a minute so we're going to move that back and what I'm going to do is go ahead and move this over here I'm going to click view bring up the inspector window I need to put something in this box here so in this box we're going to go into our FS projects um, now this placeholder is within the SDK and you can find it in there. It has to be in here to, in order to actually create a scenery. So um, that's all taken care of. And then what I'm going to do from this point is save that. And then under the new byte BGL, I'm going to click on that. And then I'm going to click on well, first, before I do that, I'm going to change these. So I want to change this to scene. Oops, that didn't work. Let me actually just do a little bit different way here. We'll do that. We'll come over to the new byte and pick scene. And then click select folder. And then we're going to get that. Here, I'm going to call this one scenery. backslash you have to press enter on these so that's taken care of now I'm going to put load an editor okay and I don't need the material editor because we're not changing any of the actual textures on things we want the objects and in this case they populated pretty quickly there I want to choose all and now I can choose from any of the different objects that are available. So if I want a giraffe, an elephant, um, a hangar, an airplane, a car, a person, you know, all of that stuff is in here. Control tower. Um, so all of the different objects are available when you click on scenery, because you can choose different things, scenery, but in this case we're doing all in the objects tab. So let me just pick something here. Uh, let's see, make it quick. Um, I guess we'll just, we'll search for a hanger. We could just search for things. So we can search for a hanger. There's plenty of hangers. So we will choose a hanger. Let's see how big that one is. And then I'm gonna click this one click placing. That is pretty big. Let's try a smaller one. Nope, let's try that one. That one will work, boom. All right, so we will place this here. I'm going to click that off. Um, now you can rotate it if you want to do that. I mean, there's a way to do that through this tab right here, which is the gizmo. Rotate gives you the little globe and then you can, you know, rotate it. You can move it around, but it's in there. Okay, so that's done. Now we're going to save it and then build the project. So we're going to come back over to Inspector for now. Uh, first thing we're going to do here is save this project. So that should do the trick because we're in the BGL. Save. Um, Oh, nope, sorry, I'm thinking something else. So we're going to save scenery. There we go. 
and then in the scene we're going to call it new byte in the bight boom that's what i was trying to do all right so now i have that save scenery so now i can place a bunch of stuff in there then we go over here we're going to go to the the uh, project and then we're going to press on the atilde key which is next to the one so that brings up the console you want to clear that pressing the eraser and then press build package uh interesting it went dark again to the but that's okay we didn't get any error messages so we would do that and we're going to close that and we are going to turn it back so it's not dark okay so that looks good all right that's good i press that by accident that wasn't necessary and so what i'm going to do here is go look at the folders to make sure i actually did create the scene which that is there i have my packages now let's see what this looks like this looks perfect so that's perfect okay so we have our scenery file now which is in the packages folder which we created when we did the build package that goes right in there I'm going to close everything. We're going to close that. We're going to close that. We're going to, uh, we don't need to exit out of that. We do need to exit out of the simulator. So we're going to do that. Go back to main menu, continue. All right. So at this point, I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to restart the simulator, but I am going to um, show you where to take the, uh, you know, take the file to. So we're going to just close the simulator, quit the desktop. Okay. All right. So now we're going to take the folder that was just created here, packages. We're going to copy that. We're going to bring that over here. I already made a shortcut to the actual app. So the Microsoft where you put your community folder stuff. So I got packages, my community folder. I'm going to drop that in there. I'm going to paste it right in there. I'm going to close that and now I'm going to pause the video and restart the simulator. Okay, so we're back. So let's go ahead and jump back into the simulator here. Okay, and we will search for a new byte. I know it's in the Caribbean, but. Uh, yeah, there we go. New byte, cat island, boom. Let's uh, make it daytime so we can see what we're doing. Zoom into new byte. Here we go. And there's our runway. And let's go ahead and just start here. Click fly. So in the matter of 10 minutes, we created a scenery. We put a building in, saved it. Let me put the simulator on pause. Let me change the time of day so we can see. Ready to fly. And there we go. All right. So then we're gonna. So I'm on the demonstration because we're actually in the the actual simulator, not doing scenery. Just so you can see it, I'm going to go ahead and just go into the regular camera and go into the showcase. And uh, let me just change the drone speed so we can get there quickly. And we'll look for our building here. There's our building. Right where we put it. So there it is. And then you can do that with so many different buildings. Uh, so I just wanted to show how quickly and easily it is to create the scenery. Uh, I'm going to make a new video on how to remove scenery. Um, so, I mean, we can remove this building, we can remove this building. These gas pumps, I think that they just recently changed that. Um, before I didn't really know how to remove these out of the scenery. I still don't, but I think they just changed it. So 
I'll practice that and if I can remove those because those are important. I mean, if you want to recreate this area here, you need to be able to remove these out of the, you know, out of the scene. But otherwise, that's it. Uh, again, if you have any questions or comments, please post them in the comments section and please like the video. And it'd be nice if you subscribed also. That'd be cool. And, let, you know, just lets me know I can make more videos and you like the ones that I'm making. So I appreciate it. Thanks for watching.